Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today we're looking at my S-Class 800 1990 Mazda MX-5 Miata. This is my all-wheel drive drift tune. As you can tell it says second, third gear, all-wheel drive drifter, King Posh Gaming at YouTube for tunes. And you're already here and you're going to see my tune. You're going to see my build. You're going to see everything. So yes. Um... And it was pretty easy to find. Uh, all you had to do is go into here. And honestly, I'm the only one. I'm the only one for A-Class. And I'm the only one for S-Class. Uh, as of right now, for for drift tunes for this, this car. And all you do is put all that in there and press search. And you're going to find me. I'm the only one there. All right? Like I said, it's awesome. Uh, if, you, if you want my real-wheel drive, it's, it's pretty easy to find, too. You just do this. Okay. A, drift, best for handling, search, and I'm the only one up there. All right. Just let you guys know. How awesome is that? So let's get into everything. Let me show you guys what I've done to this car, the build, and the tune. So we'll start over here. I've got the uh, 6.2 liter V8. All right. All wheel drive, drivetrain. And I've got a twin turbo setup. All right, you guys get to see what I've put onto the car itself. It looks very sporty, I must say. I really like the look of this car. All right, so you guys got to at least see what I, I put onto the car. It looks really, really sporty. I love the front bumper. That looks really good. I mean, this is what it looks like stock, all right? And then you can put something so aggressive like that on there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. All right. You got a race transmission, race differential, race clutch, and a race driveline. All right. My wheels of choice were the Pro Race 2 on these. Usually, I like getting putting these two guys on here. But I decided to change it up. And these look really good on here. Um, and I just left the stock rim sizes on them. So 14 and 14 inch rims uh, on each. Uh, you can go all the way up to 19 inch rims on that. And that just looks absolutely crazy. But these look good as is. All right. Uh, tire width is just stock for both the front and the rear. And the tire compound is also stock as well to maximize that slide. All right, you got race brakes. Uh, no, no roll cage in here, but this is what it would look like. Okay. Uh, it's got a light uh, ballast on there, so just to bring it down to a, uh, you know, an S uh, eight hundred. I wanted to be in that S class. Um, you know, anything else like this would take you up to, you know, R class. So, very, very, very slight. All right, it still weighs you know, 2,489 pounds, and it's got 1,063 horsepower, so I really didn't see a, a, a problem. All right, you got race anti-roll bars for both the front and the rear. You got drift suspension, and you got a sport um, weight reduction. All right, everything here is race all the way through. All right, race all the way through here. Race Twin Turbo, and Race Intercooler. So everything there is race to give you all that power. All right. And let's go into the tune, show you guys what I did to this thing. All right, so we've got a 0 to 16, 3.4. It's got a top speed of 201 miles per hour. So you got 15, 15 on the tires. All right, here is my gearing that I come up with. All right, get that if you need it. All right, alignment is a little on the wild side on this one. All right, a little different from my other tunes. That's what I try to do is just give you guys something, you know, different if I can. All right, so that is what I've got there. And the angle is 6.7 degree with the steering uh, angle of 60 degree. All right, we got full on stiff anti roll bars on this one. So 40 and 40. Full on stiff uh springs all the way you can go up to the top 
And then 5, 2, and 5, 2, as low as you can go. Dampening is 13, 1, 13, and 13. Okay. Don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about this. And this is just stock for breaks. And then we got 76, 86, 97, 97, and 96% going to the rear. And it really does drift very smoothly. All right. And you don't have to worry about that. So let's go and show you guys the replay. All right. That was my, that one. All right. It's this one right here. You guys can just see how smooth, how smooth that is. Tons of power. If you want a smooth all-wheel drive drifter, this is it. Plenty of power. No problem drifting. Super smooth. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys are going to absolutely love this car. I know it. I put some time into it. But yeah, she's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so if you want a smooth drifter, get my Mazda Miata. You're going to love her. Well, hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.